curious in their in their faces that it just oh. work out. all right so we're recording on youtube and uh welcome everyone to a new worship week i'll take us up live i just i just saw that that bill jumped on welcome bill glad you're here hey. we're glad you're here i'm going Thank to you. Uh, share this now on to live on facebook and welcome everyone and i'll introduce our guest our guest saint for the day who is a fascinating individual. So, hold on a second. All right. Oh, I like your purple chair. Mm. It's black. It looks purple. I know. I'm getting a new camera so you can see what the what the world really looks like in my house. <laughs> it's really black. That's funny. All right, here we go. Taking us live. Sorry we're a little late today, folks. We're a minute late on the on the uh, live cast. We were having fun talking mm -hmm. about all the lovely all the lovely things we did over the weekend. Mostly me spouting, so forgive me that. All right, here we go. There we go. All right. Well, folks, welcome to morning prayer. And um, we are celebrating today Jan Hus, who was a, uh, a Czech uh, bohemian way back in the day and a truly fascinating individual because he is considered the second reformer of the church. The first reformer um, was someone named John Wycliffe, uh, and both of them were roughly contemporaneous um, from the late 1300s to the early 1400s, uh, which makes them predating Martin Luther by almost over 100 years. Um, and their their contribution is really fascinating to the life of, of the Reformation in Europe. Um, they were the first ones to raise up objections to what they saw as the, of the abuses of the church in terms of the sale of indulgences and other things that we, um, and the abuse of, of clergy orders and, and political power and such that we saw in, in regard to the later Reformation efforts. Um, they sort of set the tenor. So if this were a music show, um, and we were talking about um, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Muddy, and you know, and all of the contemporary blues artists. These are the guys that were the Blind Lemon, uh, Blind, Blind Melon, Je Blind Lemon Jefferson, and Robert Johnsons of the day. They they go back to the beginnings of these early movements. Um, John Wycliffe was an early translator of the Bible. Jan Hus was an outspoken theologian. Um, and I, I have my little note for the day. You're going to learn a word. Ready for this? The word is timpanation. Got that? Timpanation. And timpanation is a particular doctrine of the church that Jan has promulgated, which is that the real presence of Christ is, is, is in the Eucharistic elements without the inherent transformation of those elements into the body of Christ. So the bread and wine remain bread and wine, but they still have the real presence. And the Pope was so concerned about this that the Pope at the time ordered Jan's archbishop to basically have him taught against. In other words, to bring speakers in who would refute that teaching. It was considered dangerous to the church at the time. There you go. You learned a word today, timpanation. All right, we are ready to begin. I will bring up our order of service and uh, I welcome you all here. Um, thank you to our readers. Thank you to everybody else who is here at the end of this holiday weekend. I hope you had a glorious uh, July 4th and uh, had a chance to rest and refresh as we prepare for the glories and beauties of July in New Jersey and wherever you are. The Lord is in his holy temple, but all the earth keeps silence before him. My brothers and sisters in Christ, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us 
that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Please join me in unison for the antiphon and the invitatory. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord, our maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. We begin the Psalter anew today. Uh, we'll begin with Psalms 1, 2, and 3, and uh, I'll offer the odd verses. You guys will respond with it even. Happy are those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or take the path that sinners tread or sit in the seat of scoffers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law they meditate day and night. They are like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in its season, and their leaves do not wither. In all that they do, they prosper. The wicked are not, are not so, but are like chaff that the wind drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. The Lord, the Lord watches, watches over, over the way of the righteous, the, righteous, the, the way of the, way wicked, of the wicked will perish. Why do the nations conspire? and the people's plot in vain. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together, together against, against the, Lord the Lord and his anointed, and his anointed, and his anointed saying, saying, Let us burst their bonds asunder and cast their cords from us. He who sits, he who sits, sits in the heavens laughs, the Lord has, has them in derision. Then he will speak to them in his wrath and terrify them in his fury, saying, I have, I have set my king on Zion, my holy hill. I will tell of the, de the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. Today have I begotten you. Yes, Ask for me, and I will make the nations your heritage, and the ends, the ends of the earth your possessions. You shall break them with a rod of iron, and dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Now therefore, now, therefore, O kings, be wise, be warned, and rulers, rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear, with trembling, kiss his feet. For he will be angry, and he will perish, and he his wrath is quickly kindled. Happy are those who take refuge in him. O Lord, O Lord, how many are my foes, many are rising against me. Many are saying to me, there is no help in you, God. But you, O Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cry, I cry aloud to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy, his holy hill. I lie down and sleep. I wake again, for the Lord sustains me. I am not afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me all around. Rise up, O Lord, deliver me, O my God, for you strike all my enemies on the cheek, you break the teeth of the wicked. The deliverance belongs to the Lord. May your blessing be on your people. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. Now the Reubenites and the Gadites owned a very great number of cattle. When they saw that the land of Jazer and the land of Gilead was a good place for cattle, the Gadites and the Reubenites came and spoke to Moses, to Eleazar the priest and to the leaders of the congregation saying, Adaroth, Dibon, Jazer, Nimrah, Heshbon, Eliel, Sebam, Nebo, and Baon, 
the land that the Lord subdued before the congregation of Israel, is a land for cattle, and your servants have cattle. They continued, if we have found favor in your sight, let this land be given to your servants for a possession. Do not make us cross the Jordan. But Moses said to the Gadites and to the Reubenites, shall your brothers go to war while you sit here? Then they came up to him and said, we will build sheepfolds here for our flocks and towns, for our little ones, but we will take up arms as a vanguard before the Israelites until we have brought them to their place. Meanwhile, our little ones will stay in the fortified towns because of the inhabitants of the land. We will not return to our homes until all the Israelites have obtained their inheritance. We will not inherit with them on the other side of the Jordan and beyond, because our inheritance has come to us on this side of the Jordan to the east. So Moses said to them, if you do this, if you take up arms to go before the Lord for the war, and all those of you who bear arms cross the Jordan before the Lord, until he has driven out his enemies from before him, and the land is subdued before the Lord, then after that you may return and be free of obligation to the Lord and to Israel, and this land shall be your possession before the Lord. But if you do not do this, you have sinned against the Lord, and be sure your sin will find you out. Build towns for your little ones and folds for your flocks, but do what you have promised. Then the Gadites and the Reubenites said to Moses, your servants will do as my Lord commands. Our little ones, our wives, our flocks, and all our livestock shall remain there in the towns of Gilead. But your servants will cross over, everyone armed for war, to do battle for the Lord, just as my Lord orders. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our first canticle of this morning, the song of Isaiah, the first song of Isaiah, please, in unison. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. Therefore, you shall draw water with rejoicing from the springs of salvation. And on that day, you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, ring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the church in Rome. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but that very Spirit intercedes with sighs, too deep for words. And God, who searches the heart, knows what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. We know that all things work together for good for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son in order that he might be the firstborn within a large family. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he also, who he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the mm -hmm. Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second canticle. The Song of the Redeemed. O ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. 
he descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Please join in the suffrages. Show us your mercy, O Lord. And grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your peace, peace and joy. joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care. And guide us in the way of justice. Let your way be known upon earth. Your saving health of all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten. Nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God. And sustain us in your Holy Spirit. Faithful God, you gave Jan Hus the courage to confess your truth and recall your church to the image of Christ. Enable us, inspired by his example, to bear witness against corruption and never cease to pray for our enemies, that we may prove faithful followers of our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of concord, to know you as eternal life and to serve you as perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servant, in all of the assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries through the might of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please join me in a prayer attributed to St. Francis. Lord, make us instruments of your peace. Where there is hatred, let us sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is discord, union. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. Grant that we may not so much seek to be consoled as to console to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. I invite your prayers of intercession and thanksgiving. We pray everywhere that infection rates for COVID are spiking, and we pray particularly for those who are offering care to those who are ill, and we pray for the fast recovery of those who are ill, as well as the consolation of those who are in quarantine after exposure. We pray as well for peace and for calm hearts as we continue to strive for social justice and reconciliation in our society, in this moment of change and transformation. Grant, O oh God, that your holy and life-giving spirit may so move every human heart, and especially the hearts of the people of this land, that barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatred cease that our divisions being healed, we may live in justice and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, 
for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised to your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us at this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Well, guys, thank you so much. Appreciate your presence. Appreciate everybody's presence on Facebook today. We had quite a large crowd. We had an even dozen. So let's rejoice in that. Um, so thank you guys and thank you, our readers. We'll reconvene again here at five o'clock for evening prayer. Hope you can join us on Facebook Live. And of course, we'll upload this uh, office to YouTube as fast as we are done. So we thank you for your presence today. Let's give a wave as we end the live cast and also Bye. the... Uh,